I'm sure you have many different types of programs on your computer. We load programs on our computers to perform specific tasks, like doing calculations, typing letters or sending emails. We have programs that make life a lot easier and faster than before. We also have programs that makes life a lot more entertaining than before. While I'm going through a list of the different programs, I want you just to sit back and see how many of these programs you use on a regular basis. I also want you to imagine how your life would have been without these programs. Utility applications are those programs that we use to make life a little easier. When you buy a new computer or when you load an operating system like Windows, you normally get a few utility programs too. The Windows calculator is an example. When I was in school, we only started to use calculators in high school. And in those days, it was a big and bulky thing that worked with pen light batteries and it didn't even fit into your pocket. Why it was called the pocket calculator is still a mystery to me. There are many other utilities that we had to carry around in our bookcases. Many of these items are now replaced with programs. Some of these utilities were misplaced or they lost their functionality after a while, like calendars, reminders and journals. At the end of the year, a calendar was useless and you had to throw it away. With every new year you had to start a new calendar and fill it in with new reminders. We had to highlight dates like birthdays and make notes of special events. It was only effective if you remind yourself to look at the calendar every day. But with a calendar program you can be reminded with an alert about important dates. With a calendar program you can store birthdays once and it will remind you year after year about someone's birthday. Some other utility programs that we use to make life easier are clocks, timers, stopwatches and so on. Programs are not only for doing work, we also use them to play. When I was in school, we played board games like Checkers and Monopoly. If we wanted to play war games, we had to go outside. If we wanted to play electronic games, we had to go to the cafe around the corner. Electronic games were played on big and heavy TV screens and the resolution and graphics were bad. Nowadays, we have games on our own computers, cell phones, tablets and many other devices like PlayStation, Xbox, Wii and so on. We can even play against each other over a network or a LAN. All this fun is made possible by programs. Maybe you are not a gamer, but there are many other types of programs that can also keep you entertained. If you like to listen to music, there's a program for you. If you like watching videos, there's a program for you. You use programs for entertainment even if you do not have a computer. Just by watching TV or DSTV, listening to the radio or chatting to a friend with BBM or WhatsApp, you are using a program. Business programs help organizations to do business faster and to save costs. For example, banks have auto tellers to reduce queues at branch offices and to make banking accessible to as many clients as possible. Banks also provide devices to enable businesses to do car transactions on-premise without exchanging cash. These devices are driven by software applications or programs. Nowadays, we can also do banking online or on our cell phones by using programs developed for that purpose. In the last few years, more and more businesses embrace the internet as a medium for selling merchandise. You can now sit at your dining room table and buy almost anything imaginable online. Businesses also use programs to do financial bookkeeping, to keep track of stock, to manage resources, and some even have programs to manufacture stuff. Educational programs help students to learn easier and faster, but teachers can also use programs to make teaching easier and more interesting such as slideshow presentations and quizzes. There are many programs that teach different subjects like math, science and languages to name just a few. We already learned that businesses use the internet to sell products and that organizations like banks provide internet applications to enable us to do online transactions. But the World Wide Web is much more than just business. The web provides us with information about any topic imaginable. With all the different web applications out there, the way we do business, the way we communicate, the way we socialize, the way we learn and the way we live changed forever. Just think of all the information, conversations and products that are available to you with the click of a button. Websites like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google and Amazon made the world a much smaller place than a few years ago. There are many other types of programs that I didn't mention here, 
For example, in the last few years, vendors of mobile devices like cell phones and tablets opened their own app stores with hundreds of mobile applications that can be downloaded. You pay for some of these apps, but many are also free. Think of any program that might be useful to yourself or to other people, and visit any online app store. Chances are that the app you thought of already exists. Alright, that was a quick look at some of the types of programs that exist in the market today. Depending on the version of Delphi you are using, and if you stick with programming and learn further, you will eventually be able to also develop many of these types of applications. However, you must start somewhere, and my hope is that these lessons will not only help you to do well in school, but maybe it will also encourage you to look into software development as a career. In the next topic, I will discuss programming languages, and I will also show you a few different languages.